For Doug, it's a passion, a lifelong love that not only educates, but instills confidence in those who try. He wants others to do just that, try. If not for the finished product at the end of the process, then for the pride and sense of accomplishment. I was. I took him to school wearing them. Everyone's like, where'd you get the boots? I'm like, I made them. <laughs> Did you take leather and feathers and beads and create a headdress is quite rewarding. Some students see the opportunity to even take it further and turn it into small business. This is a great way to do a job. I mean, you're making stuff you love. You get easy hours because you're the one doing it all, right? And it's pretty easy to make too, so. But Doug reminds his students and fellow entrepreneurs never to forget why they started making the art in the first place. I mean, like, <laughs> the cash side's nice, but making something that no one else can make in Canada, it's pretty, it's pretty cool. It's a polished diamond, really. It's not a diamond in the rough, it's a polished diamond. And it reflects all the facets of this man's life and character. Whoever buys the book, there's an article at the back of the book that tells you, send me the pictures, send me photos or of what you have just finished and even while you're making it because in my next book, Hawkeye's Golden Diary, I will put many students in that book. So your grandchildren will have an opportunity to see your work later on.